and the audio is on. All right. So I will introduce Sarah Kaga. She's our presiding officer for the public hearing, and I will let her take. Good morning. This is a public hearing on the proposed changes to Washington Administrative Code Chapter 194-37 and a new proposed rule to Washington Administrative Code 194-40. I'm Sarah Coggins, Rules Coordinator at the Department of Commerce, and I have been designated as the presiding officer for this hearing. You must sign in to testify. Please sign in even if you do not wish to testify. The hearing is being recorded to comply with the requirements of the Administrative Procedures Act. The proposed rule amendment was filed on June 27, 2019 and published in the Washington State Register at WSR 19-14-050. The proposed rules include two provisions. One, the proposal amends rules implementing the Energy Independence Act, also known as 1- 937 to reflect changes in law enacted by the legislature in 2019. These amendments expand renewable resource eligibility to include the incremental generation from hydroelectric projects in the federal system, which are marketed by the Bonneville Power Administration. They also clarify the definition of renewable energy credits. Two, the proposal creates a new rule to implement a provision in the Clean Energy Transformation Act that requires consumer owned utilities include the social cost of greenhouse gas emissions in resource evaluation, planning, and acquisition. These proposals are explained further in a memo distributed to stakeholders when the proposed rules were filed on November 6. These rules are the first phase of a larger rulemaking process to implement the Clean Energy Transformation mm -hmm. Act. Commerce will continue to hold stakeholder workshops, solicit written comments, and develop rules on several other topics related to CETA. The rulemaking process began on June 27, 2019 with a pre-proposal notice of inquiry. Commerce conducted stakeholder workshops on potential methods of determining the social cost of carbon and renewable resource eligibility of hydroelectric resources and received written comments prior to filing the proposed rule. In addition to this hearing, Commerce has solicited and accepted written comments on the proposed rules. The deadline for written comments is today. December 16, 2019. The hearing will continue until everyone who has signed in has had an opportunity to testify. Any questions about the process before we start? Okay. Austin, do we have anyone signed in to testify? We have no one signed in to testify. Is anyone online who would like to? At this point, no one has indicated they would like to testify. See if anybody does. <laughs> Again. One more time, does anyone wish to testify? As there is no one else, no one who wishes to testify, this hearing is adjourned. Thanks, Sarah. Thanks. That's your hearing. <laughs> 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 I never got my gown on. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Glenn. Yeah,